Hello everyone, let's finish off the feeble file, shall we? Uh, you may remember last time we were experimenting with this firing range to see what our grenades did. Um, we did one that was explosive and one that was uh, released a gas. Let's see if that did anything in our inventory. Um, I can't tell which one does what. Say I can't tell which one does what. No, there's five. There's five left, apparently. We had a quantity before. Um, right, so that hasn't separated out into anything, uh, which is interesting to note. Uh, I have uh, fiddled around between recordings and determined that what we need to do is related to the gas grenade and the ventilation system, because if you thought that us blowing one of the vents off to get into the building was the sum total of everything we'd have to do with that ventilation system, you, like me, will have been very much mistaken. Um, so, let's go through all these unskippable animations. Um, the next place to go, I think, is the brain room. So I missed a trick here. Nudge forward a little bit so we can actually interact with the brain goo. The one thing I didn't try to do, um, even though I've already interacted with this uh, up close and personal, is to sorry, that's the wrong thing, is to pick up some of this slime. Even though I don't think I've got an appropriate receptacle for it. Okay, that was a bit weird. I don't know if people put it, in, put it in his mouth. Would that just just make me gooey stuff from the brain tank? Okay, so it's just a. I mean, it looks quite liquid there. I sort of thought you couldn't readily put that in a pocket, even a digital one. But there you go. And then Um, the obvious connection there is uh, that we can give that to Mandarin in place of water. Because, uh, well, they're not really the same thing, are they? But it might help. Comrade! My name's Feeble. I'm here to rescue you. Feeble? I don't remember any Feeble. Adele... Uh, uh, Thatcher recruited me. You look like someone. Someone who died a long time ago. Uh, we can talk about that later. Right now, I need your help. No more pain. Please. No more. I need some help, comrade. I don't know what to do next. Take this key, comrade. What's it for? It's for... Uh, I don't know. I... Oh, great rebel leader, huh? The slightest hint of pain and he goes all to pieces. Feeble. That was I think that was a, a pretty sensitive performance that we, we got for the voice actor for Mandarin there, but again Feeble goes and uh undercuts any any kind of sensitivity that I'm not sure what it's for. That he might otherwise have had. Alright, so this key. What do you think this key could be for? Even if you didn't think we were done with the ventilation system, you probably thought we were done with the rebel base, didn't you? After having already tricked back there once to uh, 
pick up flattened bullets, force them into a, uh, to a vending machine and drink loads of coke. But uh, no, we're not done there. We've got, oh, Sam's trying to interact with Sam's other body. This is very sad. Yep, so we're heading back to the car. We've got to get back to the rebel base. There's more to do. I do wish I were right at the end of the game now, but I do wish there was more of this pixel art like in the dunes in the background throughout this game. I think it would look, um, look a lot prettier, for one thing. Okay, Gardam is here. While we're here, let's um, let's do the obvious thing with Gardam, who is, oh, excuse me, who is sunbathing. Use the uh, freezing fire. Sorry about action. this, comrade. Hmm? I don't talk to Sorry him first. What? Well, you did say you'd help if you could. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's see if we can do this directly. This uh, this is part of a puzzle to uh, block up the vents. Okay, this was the right way to do it. Fantastic. He's probably going to hurt me for this later. Um, I don't think he should hurt you, but I also don't think you should have done that, Feeble. Never mind, let's go back to the other planet. I'm sure we've got far, far faster than light speed travel, so this isn't taking years to accomplish. If not millennia. Okay, so do you remember last time we were here? Um, there was a lot of earth tap we couldn't do anything with. Apparently we can get to some of it now. So, cabinet or the display case? One or the other, I think. Looks like this one. Is that be some handcuffs and a whoopee cushion? And Oh, that. I thought it was some op art. Is that all we can get? Okay, we still got the key. Looks like a Cumberland sausage. It's a stretchy rope. A relic from the planet Earth. It's some sort of elasticated rope. I don't know why that would be treasured. I think other cultures would have come up with... I'm sure the person who sealed these relics in a vacuum did it for a reason. Okay, alright. I think we don't need anything from there. We have our stretchy rope. That's all we came here for. That's all we need to know. Right. Can't interact with Gardam anymore. Okay, let's go past Gardam. I think our next stop is probably the maintenance section of the bunker. Hi, Sam. Go this way, if you will. Thanks. That's kind of this. This end sequence is pretty heavy on the memento mori, isn't it? Or I don't know what would be uh, Latin for "remember you have killed." 
Um, we're going to the maintenance area. Okay, yes, there was another thing that you could do here. You can um, get something from the robot. That won't be of any use to me. No. Um, do I just use it? Yeah, of course you can't. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Oh. No, no, that's what we did before. No, I need to use the screwdriver then. I mean, that's what I need to do on Sam to get the chip out. Let's try this. Yes, yeah, so there's no dial to indicate that you should get something there. Um, what we have is, let me show you, um, hmm, looks like a bit of cloth, but it's actually a metal plate. A metal plate I took from WCDF. Oh, don't know why there's no subtitle for that. WCDF was their name, apparently. Interesting that Feeble remembers it. Um, Let's just see if we can do the thing with the screwdriver because it'd be quite easy to revive Sam, I think. I'm fighting for the rebellion, not running oh, a charity. Why didn't they program in some of these interactions? It makes it even more callous. Alright, we're going in the vents. You are warned. Okay, so I think there's there's we did one path last episode. There's a different path we can go on. Um, so we go up a step and we go. Oof, it's so hard to follow, isn't it? We go left. Although that, I feel like that was where we come from. But never mind. And then we forward. So there's some light here, which is interesting. I guess that's your bit of clear, isn't it? So there's a grill to interact with here. Um, and then we've got to faff around with the, uh, the stretchy rope. Let's see if it will do anything by itself. It will. Interesting. Okay. Um... about the chain as well. Okay, two things together. Right, there you go. Um, I th I think that's, that's it. So let's go back. Um, so we should do this in reverse, I think. Turn. There's no turn right, which is interesting. Um, all right, I might have got a bit turned around, I suppose. Yeah, so that's not the way to go. This way. And then move this way. Oh. Here's the other thing. Well, I think we can get back from here. Yes, this is the other thing we discovered before that I don't think we need right now. So, how do I get out of here? Go back, okay. I've got my way back from here before. Um, turn right and then go that way. Down slope, that seems like it might be right. And then is this the outlet? 
Yeah, it is. Okay. Right. We did it. Okay. Next destination, the brain room. Brain Factory. If you remember, there is an extra part of this space um, around the corner here, which I only really found uh, through prolonged exposure to this game, <laughs> this game's design choices. So here, this is the vent we saw from inside um, the, uh, the duct before, and there's a rope and chain that we can finally interact with. I think we have to do... what do we have to do? Oh, I think we have to do stuff with... Well, hang on. First, let's just see if we can do anything with this. You read your feeble? Okay. You can. And yet, the hook was not... Okay. Um, so I th think we need... The antimatter weight that we got from the research lab. I think that's what we need at this point in time. Yeah. And then Okay. So that's just made a hair that's weighed down the stretchy rope. I think we will use as it and uh, rope climbing is not really my scene I'm afraid I've got an uh, uh, elbow weakness thing no worries no worries people I like the fact that he's directly addressing the player at this point um, all right then perhaps I just have to interact with the way does that Whoa! there you go oh great another high place to fall from mm-hmm and then I have to interact with the lever, so that should oh, shut that off. Oh, oh, oh! I hope this doesn't become a habit. I um, yeah. I don't know if if either of us are going to be around long enough to to form a habit like that. Let's find out. So that should have taken care of that one. Okay, so I think the next bit is back into the maintenance area. Remember the lever that we used to increase the pressure of air being blown out of the, uh, the ventilation system? Um, let's use that. It's apparently it goes... I've set it to suck mode. Mm -hmm. It does that as well, apparently. Um, and then I think it's probably a good time to go to the research and testing lab. And maybe, you know, lob a few, lob a few grenades. That could help, couldn't it? Where are these grenades? There they are. Expecting explosive first, maybe? Oh, that's one, nice. I'll take it. Must be randomised. 
So hopefully that will get sucked into there. Yeah, kind of looked like it, didn't it? I think that's what we need to do there. Um, back to maintenance. There's only one thing we need to do. Um. Okay, there's gas around. Which, if nothing else, is atmospheric. I'm not sure why there's gas there. And, um,. To know all these specific moves to make would take an awful lot of trial and error, um, which I'm glad we can bypass really. Oh, I've gone the wrong way, I think. Oh. Ah, I need to go up, don't I? Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, move up and forward, I think. That should get me to the, yeah, this bit. And then what can we use to interrupt this fan? As I'd kind of anticipated before, we can use the metal plate, apparently. And just sort of stick it on there. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Which I think is this way. Yeah, you see I'm learning the geography of this place already. It's becoming it's becoming quite homely. I could live in a vent. Feeble could live in a vent. Alright, we've still got a slight gas problem. Which, it really sucks, doesn't it? I guess that's people's life, isn't it really? If it, if it doesn't blow, it sucks. I've stopped it. Okay. I've set it to blow mode. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't have those three grades of blowing. It has a, an off, a suck, and a blow. It completely changed its mechanical operation since the last time we used it, which is fun, isn't it? Well, you know what? I think our plan should hopefully have worked. Let's get to interrogation and see what all this was for, hopefully. Do a little save first though. We're back, let's check out our handiwork. We um, can't interact with any of the, um, the prisoners at the moment. Let's just go over here and see how the torch is progressing. Okay, everybody's passed out, so that was the invisible intent. I guess there kind of is a vent there? There wasn't much of a visual clue that that was our, uh, our means of doing it, especially when uh, we had um, gas grenades in our possession and we could have just lobbed them across the room for the same effect, but there you go. We can't interact with Dell or, um, or the torturers, just the fiendish machinery. The foul machinery of oppression. Uh huh. Are you going to ceremonially? I don't even want to touch it. Switch. Oh. Well, hang on. There must be something else. Well, hang on. Class A pass. Okay. 
a top level security pass for the turbo lift. So, I mean, oh, sorry, I always want to pick it up, I think. Even using my new rebel training, I failed to see how that's possible. Fair enough, I clicked the wrong buttons. That one's on me, feeble. So, you're not going to do anything about Dell strapped to the torture machine, unconscious. You're just. Okay, okay. Can anything to the cell? One of the many cells containing my captured comrades. Uh -huh. Now would be a great time to let them all go. I think I'd better just leave them to it. Uh, okay. Okay, if you will. Well, we've got our Class A security pass. I guess you know what that means. Time to face the Omnibrain in its temple. Which I guess is kind of a, an amusing pun. Oh, here we go. Wow. Straight to it. I'm here. I'm actually standing here. This is where the actual Omnibrain actually is. What are we going to do now? Let's not worry about it, Feeble. There's, there's a chest. There's a book. Anything else I need to carefully hover over? I mean, if there's an off switch, let's press the off switch, I think. It really is the Omnibrain. Well, it looks like a sort of fish tank. Yeah, it's just a... A brain in a tank. Nothing special. Nothing special about that. Uh... Hang on, let's look at the book. A history of time and species, and their subsequent integration into Omni society. In the beginning, the founder. The founder? The founder created the company and its products, and the company was without profit and liquidation was upon the face of the deep. And the founder moved upon the face of the company and said, let there be exploitation, and there was exploitation. <laughs> and the founder saw the exploitation and it was good. And divided he the exploitation from the fair trade. And in the exploitation he found profit, and in profit great joy. I don't believe I'm reading this. <laughs> and the founder saw the shadow of death upon him and he angered saying even my wealth cannot shield me from this specter and he questioned his advisors on the subject and a solution was found That's the end? <laughs> A solution was found? This is the start of the newer section. The rise and rise of the Omnibrain. There's a different page for each species discovered by the company. Alsatians. Durbils. Randaloids, Grenellons, I'm a Grenellon. Grenellons originate from the planet Grenellopia in Sector 8, conquered in the 137th period of the Omnibrain. Two thirds of the population were deleted in the Battle of Grey River, after which Chieftain Feeble IV threw his sacred axe, Guralandinga, the sacred axe of my people. I thought it was just a legend. through Gurulandinga at the feet of Citizen General Maverum. Wow. So 
So that's what really happened to us. And this is the 8,732nd period, so that means it happened 8,595 periods ago. I didn't realize the company was so old. Well, yeah, props there for, I guess, going for a... A, a, a comment on uh, corporate totalitarianism. Oh, hello. The ceremonial axe. This, the sacred axe of my people. I... I... It's incredible! I mean, I think that, that book section was probably the best bit of the game so far. Um... Somehow, with the most, um, I guess it's not really tying everything together, but it's quite an effective piece of story. Um, I mean, and this axe thing uh, really feeds into people's mania. So I think it's time to just chop the tank and end the Omnibrain, don't you? This is it. Everything I've been working for. The question is, can I actually go through with it? That's far enough, I think, Feeble. <gasps> to be honest, I'd wondered if you'd actually have the guts to do it. Your personality profile suggested otherwise. Nice choice of weapon, I must say, Feeble. Very <laughs> poetic. You see, Feeble, that's the trouble with rebels. They really don't have any idea how the universe actually works. Take that axe, for example. A quite astoundingly poor selection. Very romantic, yes. Very appropriate, even. But give me an ulcertoid blaster pistol any cycle. Oh. Okay, I had to. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so. Uh, this is. Can we. Oh, I have to retry this whole section. Wow. I'm here. Okay. I'm actually standing here. Alright, folks. <laughs> That's. Uh... This is where the. Let's get that. I'm going to uh, get us to back to the point where we're just about to use the axe on the tank and um, save before that and we'll, uh, we'll uh, give it another go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Major. But this new world isn't going to need people like you. Feeble. Did. Sorry, did I just see Feeble execute someone prone on the ground in despair? Do people just say, sorry, major people, the steam world is going to need people like you? Wow. I mean, you're going to have to pick it up. Any you? use to me. Oh. Well. What the. What? Why hasn't the game ended? <laughs> What's going on? What? Can I use it with. Oh, I've not used the history book. Even using my new rebel training, I fail to see how that's possible. Fair enough. Um, let's 
stick our hands in it. Okay, we do need to move it. Ooh. Oh. Twist. Plot twist. What is this place? What? The founder? Why is there more of this story? I don't understand why there's more of this story. Well. Alright, let's look at the body. He's still alive, just uh, citizen. Oh. Uh, citizen. Uh, oh, where, 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 who, who are you? Where, what's going on? Why have you awakened me? <laughs> Is that Peter Tudnam, the voice of Oracle? Uncommon citizen of the Freedom Fighters. Who are you? Who are you, citizen? And what are you doing down here? You look terrible citizen, this is some sort of file on the rain prison. I'm gonna go for the middle one, which doesn't give away our uh Who are political you, citizen? opinion. And what are you doing down here? Who are you? I mean what century is this? What's a century? Yeah. Oh, ah, I must have slept for a while slightly longer than I anticipated. What? Right. I, I suppose you're some kind of archaeologist, aren't you? Archaeologist? I, uh, I suppose I ought to explain, really. That'd be an idea. The place you have discovered is what I like to call an eternity capsule. Eternity capsule? It's a kind of uh, time-free room. What? It took years of omni-cooperation research and enough money to buy a major star system to develop this place. What does it do? This room you see, was built to help me live forever. Live forever? That's right. There's no time here, no aging, no hunger, thirst, disease. That's why we call it an eternity capsule. Um, you must be the founder that I read about. You mean you sealed yourself up in here to cheat death? What do you know about the Omni Corporation? Um, Middle one. You mean you sealed yourself up in here? You mean you sealed yourself up in here to cheat death? That's about the size of it. I was the most important person in the galaxy. Why should I have to waste away and die just like everybody else? Well, that's not very nice. Nice? No, I was certainly never nice. <laughs> Quite famed for it, in fact. My, my not niceness, that is. <laughs> uh, Who exactly are you? Uh, uh, tell me. Is the Omni Corporation still around in this time? Still around? The Omni Corporation is everything. We did all right then, did we? I don't think you understand. The Omni Corporation and the Omnibrain are everything. They control everything from the lowest space worm to the largest supernova in the galaxy. Hmm. How interesting. I never realized it would all go so well. What? The whole point, you see, of this room was so that I could live forever and run the Omni Corporation from that terminal over there. So what happened? Oh, I think I must have fallen asleep at some point. It became so tragically dull, don't you know? I wrote a simple program to make the decisions for me whilst I was unavailable. I hope nothing went wrong with it. This program, what did it do exactly? Well, it was quite simple, really. Very simple, in fact. I just adapted one of the games I brought down to keep myself amused. And it was one of those simulator games, you know. The ones that let you be God. Quite a good one, as I recall. Had real trouble beating the opponents. I cannot believe I'm hearing this. Is uh, something the matter? Is something the matter? Is something the matter? Oh, no, no. You tell me that some stupid no, game has no. been running my life hey. and that of everyone in the galaxy no. for the last 8,000 periods oh. and then you ask me if something is the matter? Did uh, something go wrong? Did something go wrong? <gasps> well, you could say that. Oh. Your game now controls the entire galaxy. Oh. It wields power through the Omnibrain and it rules with an iron hand. Anyone who disobeys or shows any sign of insurrection is wiped out immediately. I think that you could say that something went wrong. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Oh, that makes it all better then. Does it? Go! 
<laughs> He's dead. <laughs> oh, this is... I mean, I think they've made this final section just for me. It's like a, a farce of feeble murdering people. Oh. Right, it's the computer, it's the body, and I don't think there's anything else. And, I mean, between Jeff Bezos and Peter Molyneux, we've, we've condemned ourselves, haven't we? This is, this is tremendous. He's dead. Can you pick him Not up? Not really my type. <laughs> oh, you're one for that gallows you like, not you, feeble? Let's look at the computer. It says game over on it. <laughs> what? Score. Says there's ninety four percent enemies. After the death of the founder, Comrade Feeble and the Freedom Fighters dissolved the company, replaced it with a system of democracy, which he saw on some movie, Earth movie once. He was elected leader of the People's Republic. Comrade Dolores recovered from the effects of the interrogator's torture devices, and after finding herself slightly redundant, left to do what she described as something normal for a change. The Class 13 robot Sam was repaired, although his personality board was severely corrupted during the fight. Despite all efforts, it was impossible to restore him to his old self. He is now teaching ballet lessons on a remote world. Six nine. Citizen Brad made up with Citizen Marlene and they were soon married. They spent five happy years breeding sheep until a freak tornado destroyed their farm lanes. He was sister Charlene returned from prison and Brad broke both legs in a legal car race with his neighbour. Wow. Okay. That was a lot. I mean... As these, I'm gonna try and digest what we've seen as these credits roll. Um, I thought they were going for the dark ending. I thought Feeble was just gonna sit in that chair and start the process all over again um, until those um, <laughs> those end biographies kicked in. And how abrupt are they? What a terrible, horrible, uh, amusing ending. But um, I have great admiration for the all the voice actors who contributed to this game because I think they they made it a lot more amusing than it could have been otherwise, for sure. Okay, well, I'm gonna. Lots of recurring um, names there. We'll go let it roll and we'll see if there's anything at the end of it. I'm going in order of appearance, aren't we? got quite stately now, hasn't it?
Big shout out for the cutscene editors there. This is a theme song? Did I miss a theme song? A few fast is fiction. <laughs> wow. Chapter Sons and Sorcerer 3, released mid 1998. The end. Or is it? No, it is the end. The, <laughs> the program just quit. Well, in that case, I was I was hoping for more, but in that case, we're that's it. We did it. We completed the feeble files, which is quite an achievement, I think, for me. That was a very difficult let's play, and it took me over a year in total to get there, with your help and support. And I thank you very much if you've made it all the way to the end here. Um, I, I appreciate it immensely and um, if it means you never have to play the feeble files yourself I think that's that's a good thing um, but by the same token if you want to play the feeble files boxed new boxed copies are still available from Adventuresoft's website um, I might leave a <laughs> leave a link in the video description I I think I'm gonna be back with a, um, a debrief episode just to cap off this series um, I th I've probably said as much as I need to say about the Feeble Files and its its meanings and its context and its problems, um, but I might run through a few points again and um, just put it into context of being my first Let's Play, my first long Let's Play, um, and what that experience has been like. Um, I think could be could be worth putting into a video. So expect one of those to follow this. But um, in the meantime, thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed the series. And um, I'll see you again soon for something different. Until then, take care. Bye bye.